Welcome to Stock Music Musician, where you'll learn how to sell music online. And now your host, Evan Oxhorn. This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and this is my wish list of features for Reason 9. Um, the upgrade's coming out soon, and I'm hoping that we'll get to see these few changes to Reason 9 that would really make it worthwhile. So the first one is that I would love to see the ability to have preset curves for fade-ins, fade-outs, for automation and things like that. Not just the linear fade, because that usually doesn't work. What you want is more of a bell shape, you want it fast or slow. Um, at least three or four of those you can pick from, just quickly draw it in. Second, I'd really like to see Reason streamline the ability to sample. Um, the ability to go into Reason and have to use a sampler to record your output of your song seems a little complicated. Um, I'd like to see it more where <clears throat> you can take a part of your song, bounce it to audio, and then go from there. And it looks like that feature is included, but it wasn't totally clear from the video. The third thing I'd like to see in Reason 9 is an upgrade to some of the older sample packs. Just some of those loops don't sound as good anymore. The ones that were originally bundled with Dr. Octorex or even Dr. Rex back before there were eight of him. Um, there's just issues with phase, with them not being super clear and punchy. I would like to see Propellerhead go back and try and create some new samples that are based on more modern techniques. The fourth thing I'd like to see Reason add is VST support. We know it's never gonna happen. Um, and I do appreciate how smooth and easy to use rack extensions are compared to certain other DAWs where the plugin management is just a total headache. But it would at least be nice to be able to rewire into Reason or something like that as opposed to just rewiring out of it. The final thing that I'd really like to see in Propellerhead's Reason 9 is better support for third-party uh, hardware. So, you know, I can't plug my Machina into Reason without a really convoluted workaround, which I'll review at some point, and use it to just control the hardware, use it as a hardware controller uh, to control the interface, whether it's as a pad controller or using the knobs to automate various faders. That should be really easy. It should be plug and play and then I'm mapped. And instead, it's an incredibly complicated process. Other DAWs handle that input much better, and I'd like to see Reason become more flexible with some of these controllers. There's also um, something called like a ProSonus fader port, which is basically just a model of a channel strip. It's got a few controls. It's got a fader, mute, pan, that sort of thing, and a transport control, which would make the mixing portion of things a lot easier. Uh, but overall, love Reason. Super looking forward to Reason 9. And I hope we get to see some of these simple changes um, in the near future. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe. I'm new at this, so I'd be happy to know what you think and what I could do better and what you'd like to know more about. All right.